Take two. I just did like one of the longest videos I've ever done and I don't know where it is. Hi, I'm Laura T at Dream Deals 123 and I'm the Silver Owl Thrifter on YouTube and I am here to tell you about what's sold and this was while I was on vacation. So let's do this again. All right. Oh, I was so organized too. And now it's like, all right, here we go. This is a Land Rover tan beige hat, adjust adjustable leather strap back embroidered. And this sold for 15, no. All right, yes, $29. And I made $21 on that. I paid a dollar for that hat. Do not pass up hats. Um, had a lot of interest in that. All right. Here is a pair. I threw, I did it all. Oh, okay. okay, don't break things, Lord. don't break things. Settle down. No need to panic. This is a Polo Ralph Lauren. These are corduroy pants, very in style right now. Men's 38, 32, really good size. Brown stretch, classic, flat front. And these sold for $27, and I made $7 on those. Here is a Land's End Men's Super T. It's written on there, Super T. This is a turtleneck. Dark spruce, medium, long sleeve, 100% cotton. Those are the words I put there. And that's $20, sold for $20. And I made $9 on that. This is a, if I can find it. All right, I should have, yeah, here it is. I think I should have gone in and reorganized, but I just like, huh? <sighs> I didn't. This is Talbot's Petite. It's a woman's small petite black sequined sweater, a wool blend. This is very nice for like a Christmas party, I would think, or New Year's party, or just a uh, family photos, anything like that. And that sold for $16, and I made $7 off of that. All right. Here is a... All right, another... Sorry, a J. Jill. Here we go, J. Jill Red Mock. <laughs> it's mocking me. Are you mocking me? J. Jill Extra Small Mock turtleneck it's not quite a turtleneck and sweater holiday party Christmas again red sweaters Christmassy styles party all that stuff $20 made $11 on that here is a really cute top with a brand I have never heard of before mellow day New with tags, doesn't have the price or anything, but got the tag. Uh, extra large floral top tunic. I think this is called peplum when it's got that little pleated there. Bell sleeves here. If you wanna go in and look at sleeve styles and styles of clothing to get keywords, that can be very helpful. I've done that before. Long sleeve boho, cottage core, bell sleeves floral tunic top sold for $25 and I made $10 off that. I think I probably paid about $6 for that. That's what I'm thinking. All right, Abercrombie and Fitch men's medium gray waffle knit. That's that Henley got the three buttons. That's a classic Henley. I think a Henley can also have two buttons or four buttons. I don't know what the Henley laws are, okay? All right, 
this is sold for yeah shirt cotton long sleeve and this sold for sixteen dollars and i made six dollars on that here is a cuddle duds where are you cuddle duds good bread and butter brand real comfortable love the name cuddle duds cuddle duds we're learning a lot about neck line stuff this is going to be cowl neck cowl neck is like a really big floppy turtleneck cuddle duds software cowl neck tunic top size large red thumb holes you got little thumb holes there long sleeve i have sleeve written there i don't know if i meant to write long sleeve got sleeves it's got sleeves people or sleeve as i have noted so all those people who just want one sleeve um twenty dollars sold for 20 i made 12. here is a pair of good bread and butter good solid brand of shoes merrill these i got for about a dollar they're new they've never been worn size 10 medium new men's merrill hut mock quilted casual slip-on sneaker orange brown these sold for fifty dollars and uh, i made 29 dollars off those nowadays i just pick up shoes if i can get them at a great price and they look practically new i used to buy shoes and spend so much time cleaning and polishing them and you know what happened they're all still back on the shelf a lot of them all right women's universal thread Ugh. where are you it's a black t-shirt i'm going to show it to you later it's a woman's universal thread merryweather crew black t-shirt it's a i have a pile of stuff here i sold 35 things did i tell you that i hope you're gonna you, you got a few minutes here pull up a chair and a cup of coffee I'm going to show you that in a minute because I can't find it, but this t-shirt sold for $14 and I made $5 on it. All right. Here is, here it is. Just a black, pretty much a black t-shirt. Here is another item that sold from that fu puppy fundraiser. It's a Simply Fido bird rope toy, new puppy organic, non-toxic dog toy. This sold for $15 and I made $7 on those. I'm real happy with all the dog toys and dog clothes and dog ornaments that I got there. And the scarves, I got some scarves there. Okay, this is a the golden book of favorite songs 1923 Hall and McCreary Company, 202 songs. I got this for free. I sold it for $8 and I make $4. I'll send this medium mail or maybe even first class. If it's medium mail or first class, if I can choose either, depending on what they paid for it. And actually, if I've only made $8 on this, I may go to the media mail because it may be the difference between me making $4 or $1 or two dollars anyways media mail is what you a special postal rate that you can use to sell your books and that's very helpful because books can be very heavy and that's actually the, the reason why the post office has media mail is they want to encourage people to read and it was a law put in a long time ago because they wanted to encourage reading so um anyways you but you can't put anything else in the media mail you can't even put a note you can't even say here is from books from grandma it's just got to be the media mail and it can't have advertisements in it so if it's like a a new magazine no you can't do that but if it's a you know a vintage 1900s magazine that has old advertisements in yes and they do look through these okay they will open up media mail sometimes to check they go through it takes a little longer for it to get there so that's something that uh to be considered especially at christmas time if you do sell some books and it's media mail uh, you may either want to offer uh, offer two um two or three different different you know 
ways to do it and um, or you may want to tell them that it's going to be a little bit late or it's going to take long. I've just had times where it's taken really long and it's caused a few problems. All right, here is a vintage Detroit map, Gross Point, Lake St. Clair. It's like an old vintage map. I got literally hundreds of these for free. And I had never sold them before. I had had them in my death pile for four years. And I saw them the other day and I was like, I'm just going to see what happens. So I put this on for auction starting at 99 cents just to see, you know, get some interest. And it did sell, but the, it sold for $20, $21. But most of that is shipping because this is 18 inches or longer. And things 18 inches or longer, the post office puts a big premium on them, especially for priority. Now this is lightweight, so I don't know exactly how much this is gonna cost, um, but it could be, could be a little and then I would make a lot, or it could be, I'll let you know tomorrow. Um, but I sold it, I have that, I, I did sell it for $21 and um, I maybe make about nine or ten dollars and what I'll do with the rest of them is maybe batch them all up into a big batch and see if I can put those on auction and get more. A couple of people bid it on them so there must be some bit of interest in in those kinds of things. But for two dollars, yeah, well they paid did pay the shipping too so it was worth twenty one dollars to somebody. That one little map, that's pretty cool. This is a set of sp four Spode Christmas tree. Spode is the brand, which is a good brand. Look it up if you can get it at the right price, especially vintage Spode. This is made in China. So, but sold very fast. Uh, four Spode Christmas tree hand towels, green, white applique. He sold for $29 and I made $18 off of those. Alrighty, here is a Burns State Street Experience solid brass picture frame. I picked these solid brass ones up that look good. Uh, if I can get them at a right price, that sold for $21 and I made $10 on that. Let me see if I move this so I don't have to, I don't have a place for anything. Okay, here I sold this. Under Armour, new with tag, men's, medium blue and white striped heat gear, polo shirt, short sleeve, new with tags, sold for $20, and I made $11 on that, and that sold pretty quick. I think I paid very little for that. This is a L.L. Bean woman's green warm goose down insulated jacket medium but it does have a big stain on it here and i didn't see that till i got home and i paid up for this i paid like 13 dollars for this because i was basing it on sell throughs of unstained and uh no i didn't i couldn't sell it for what i thought i was but i did sell it for 34 dollars and I made $9 on, on this. <clears throat> and to $34, all these first numbers, is it, that includes shipping. So I probably sold it for $19.99 and $12.99 shipping or something like that. All right, I sold this doggy sweater, knit dog sweater, medium animal print, DDG. Again, I got this from that dog uh, fundraiser yard sale and this sold for $18 and I made $10 off of that and I sold this Land's End sweater size medium Land's End can be a good bread and butter if you can get it at the right price and if it's a substantial piece like a sweater this is Land's End cable knit pullover cream cotton silk blend that's Another reason why I picked it up, it's a real nice material fabric blend. Cotton, silk, wool, linen, all of those are good. Silk, I think I said that. All right, 
$25 and I made $14 on that. All right, keep checking to see if I'm still recording because I don't, I don't want to have to re-record it again. And I was so excited about it. I was like, I'm going to do a nice long one. And I was like, it. anyways. All right. Women's flannel pajama set. This is unbranded. I could not find a brand. It just has this little tag there. But if it's the style is right, you still can make money off of it. This is uh, a pajama set. And it's flannel pajama set, Christmas baking cookies, gingerbread, small, soft, cotton. I knew this print would be a good holiday one. Think about the holidays, guys. Sweaters are selling very well. Speaking, oh, how much should I get make for that? Um, $20 sold and $9 is what I made. Christmas is here, Christmas is here. Pick up ugly sweaters. You can sell them on eBay if you list them now. <laughs> All right, they've got candy canes and gingerbreads in the pocket. What could be cuter? It's like a vest with button up uh, with the bells. The buttons are bells. Are they? Or no, they're just bells. Who needs buttons? Uh, just saw that, thought it was cute. And that sold for $27, and I made $13 on that. I sold this puzzle, I think it's Springbok, which is, I believe, a vintage puzzle. And puzzles were going like crazy um, during COVID, but uh, then it just stopped. And I had bought a lot that ha at yard sales, so I wasn't sure if all the pieces were there. And uh, people really like all the pieces there. I mean, I do, right? You do a puzzle and you want to put all the, you got to put that last piece in. And oh my gosh, I, one lady, when I did it once, I thought all the puzzle pieces were there and I said it in the listing because it was, I don't know why I said that. Somebody must have told me that or it might might have, anyways, regardless, it wasn't new. And she did it, and it, she was very upset that she couldn't put the past last piece in. So I refunded her, and she sent me a message later and said she ordered another one and uh, did finish it. So that one sold for $24, and I made $10 off of that. All right, here is a Croft and Barrel Croft and Barrow sweater. Again, this is that very night, a very holiday, Christmas, winter, winter hiking. Think of, you know, peep, this is a cute sweater. This is called Fair Isle, but it has that little snowflake like pattern. Very popular. Croft and Barrow sweater, cardigan, green, Fair Isle snowflake, winter XL, all good, good. Uh, Good stuff, very stacked there with things we like, style. Not the greatest brand, but it's a great style. And I, I, actually a lot of people like Croft & Barrel. A lot of people don't really care the style, the brand. They want the style and they want the price. Uh, but that, but that, $24 and it made $11 on that. All right, another dog sweater, Skull & Crossbone. Dog green, wagitude, Christmas gift, pet, dog lover. Some of those keywords. And this was $20, and I made $11 on that. I sold this ornament, dog ornament. Isn't that cute? This is Old World Christmas Dog Collection Glass Blown Ornaments. Oh, geez, what did I do? Okay, <laughs> all this well. Glass blown ornaments, Westie. And this sold for $15 and I made $6 on that. Get those ornaments listed. All right. Eddie Bauer. Woman long sleeve crew neck cotton white top size small. I think this was one of those free ones uh, that I got at a yard sale 
this last month and this sold for $12 and I made $5 on that. This was another one I got at a yard sale for a dollar. New with tags, Talbot, $79.50. And it is, this Talbot's Knit. Nothing spectacular, has a nice little scalloped hem. Three quarter sleeve scalloped hem, cuffs, V-neck, stretch, large petite, sold for $22. And I made $11 off of that. Here's another pair of pajamas. Another great thing to sell during the holidays in the winter time. And all these people are working from home now, right? They want to work in their pajamas, but they don't have a nice pair of pajamas. Have them if you sell them. Um, Monkey Monkey is the brand, which is pretty darn good if you can get it at the right price. And it's, um, it's got polar bears and foxes on it. Very cute. Polar bears and foxes. Who comes up with this stuff? I love it. Monkey monkey polar bear fox flannel pajama lounge set turquoise size medium. All right. And I sold another one of these. If you've been watching me, you've probably seen me sell these before. These are are Mason's Crab Tree and Evelyn. Crab Tree and Evelyn is a Bola brand. They sell all kinds of stuff. I didn't know they sold, were involved in plates, but uh, this is Crab Tree and Evelyn. I thought they were just like lotions and, and hand lotion and stuff. Anyways, Crab Tree and Evelyn, blue and white roses dinner plate, 10 and a quarter inches. I bought uh, about 11 of these for $10 at a church sale and I have been selling them steadily. I list one at a time because I don't want to ship all 11 and I'll make more money if I list them uh, individually. Now I won't do that with stuff that I'm only going to get a dollar or two but these sold for $48 a piece. Bought them for a dollar. Sold for $48 each and after shipping and everything I'm making $26. But, you know, uh, the ship thing is, I, I ship them really, I really bubble wrap them. I don't like to do china and breakables very much, but if I can make $26 on one plate, I will take the chance. Here's a pair, another good pair of shoes. This is uh, Clark's. These are Clark's Unstructured. Again, they look very good shape. And these sold for $26, and I made $13 off of those. And I paid a dollar for those. The thing with shoes is you got it, like if I had paid $10 for those at a thrift store or something like that, which is kind of the going price for shoes, it's not unusual to see them for $10 or a lot more, uh, I would have made, you know, two or $3. But I made, I made 13, so that's good. I sold these men's denim jeans size 32 32 straight leg classic style new with tag knitagut is the name never heard of knitagut there's nothing about it so i put it at the i put it at the end of the description because i figured that um somebody would just want a pair of nice new 32 32 denim jeans which somebody did i don't think they paid a lot but uh they sold for $19, and I made $6 off of those. Oh, I sold this hat. Gold Coast straw hat. And uh, straw is very in style. This kind of rattan, anything like that, is good for, you know, and when it's in style for people, it's also in style for home goods. Like straw and rattan are very good in home goods. The style is kind of the style like if you're ever wondering what to buy in children's clothes that might make you money is a fair isle sweater or a ll bean puffer jacket look for the in children's clothes you look for the more substantial pieces like coats jackets sweaters but look for the same thing that you're looking for in um women's and men's clothing you know a strong style hopefully good brand i don't know the brands very well but I know there's some that can make a lot of money. Here's a vintage Christian Dior silk 19 inch pocket square scarf hand rolled Portugal 
made in Italy gift. Christian Dior scarf. Got it for a dollar at that um, dog fundraiser. It sold for $30. Made $20 on this baby. And they bought a lot of scarves and been doing very good with scarves. Do not overlook your scarves, people. And last, I sold this little lady in the tramp. She's got some damage on her ears. Little vintage Japan. If it's got Japan on the bottom, it's sometimes valuable. Made in occupied Japan is something you'll see. And you want to get those if the price are right. Vintage Japan lady in the tramp porcelain ceramic figure figurine two and a half inches high and I put rare in the title which I don't usually do but for some reason I must have decided to do that and uh, it sold for $12 and I made $4 on that all right done looks like I kept recording for the whole thing that's good hopefully I, no other uh, snafus and uh, yeah I had a very nice time sorry something in my throat I had a very nice time at my son's house in Missouri. The um, traveling was pretty hard. The weather was promised to be good on the drive out, but it, when we were driving, it ended up being rainy. And then the next day, kind of really snowy and my hip was hurting a lot. So uh, I don't know, maybe the weather was hurting the hip or something, but I think it was also just sleeping in a new bed and uh, sitting in different chairs and just a different routine. I wasn't doing my physical therapy so much. Pat, gonna have a hip replacement for you, those of you who might be new. And um, so, anyways, the traveling was not was was a little harder this time, especially with a really bad right hip was hurting me. It's usually my left, and then my right hip was really decided to act up. But home now, which is good, and uh, gonna get the maybe get a double hip replacement. <laughs> Any of you out there have any aches, pains? Has anyone had a hip replacement? Tell me how it went, if it went good. I don't want to hear anything about it. <laughs> anything went bad. But if it did, tell me too. Maybe there's something I need to know. All right. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Comment. Thank you for watching. It means a lot to me.